Hello again in our little project. I am Valhalla and this time we want to add some epic function to our health value from our character. Um, we want to cause some damage to the character and then we want to update the health which is changed in the widget. Um, so we need to update the health ratio again. Um, in order to do this I um, inside the my character blueprint and uh, go at the bottom and add a new custom event and I call it take damage. So when an evil guy comes around and uses a stick to hit us on our head, um, this will cause damage to our head. <laughs> Makes sense to me, so that means the character can take damage. Who is causing the damage will come from the outside. Um, we will just pretend uh, that we will do this inside the player controller, but it is not re recommended. This would be some kind of enemy blueprint which has the opportunity to uh, give damage to our character, but um, I don't think this is so interesting. So let's say we will do it out of the play controller um, with an event key called um, do damage. <clears throat> so let's go inside the project settings and go to input. Oh, uh, I already added a new action mapping which is called do damage and given it the F key. So it is already done here. So when I say inside the play controller do damage um, what happens when I press F? I want to call um, I want to get from our current character the function take damage so how much damage? Mm, let's just say uh, so go back to my character and we just tell the take damage event um, that there will be an input of a um, damage value which is for our purposes it uh, enough to take let it be as an integer and this damage value will subtract from our current health um, so get the current health say sub integer minus integer so current health minus damage value <coughs> will result in our new current health. So pet those and add the pin. So what? Um, what needs to be done now? We want after we have taken damage we need to notice our widgets that the damage is has changed and there is a new percentage of the health ratio. So how do we want to get this connection done? Um, I thought about that. Um, I could come to the idea, could come up with the idea that I want to get the player controller and 
then I can call a new uh, function inside the player controller which is called uh, update the health widget but um, as soon as I did this I have a little problem within my structure so that is why I uh, set up these uh, graphs here as red because the play control <coughs> the player controller already has a reference to the player character and the player character would now have a reference itself to our player controller so circular dependency we want to avoid this and how we do this with an event dispatcher so for this we have an option here which is called Event Dispatcher. Click on it and say this one is um, called Update Health Widget, for example. So, and this one we just want to call. The caller not the target, our, ourselves. So it is like where we send out a message to uh, to anyone and one of those who receive this message will know what to do with this. And this is our player controller. So close this back to our player controller and now we have set up the event dispatcher and on begin play we want to assign this event dispatcher that the event is triggered inside our play controller blueprint. So um, take a note here and say assign um, Um, uh, uh, uncheck context sensitive. Ah, uh, here it is. Assign update health widgets. Okay. And here is the target we need to set. He said target is my c character reference. So this event is bind to the call of my current character. So when my current character uh, calls uh, that there's something that needs to be changed, this is a notification for this. Okay. So update health wishes. So we now only would need to do the same we did last time. We want to call this here. So but as I said, init widget contents uh, will set up all the contents for all widgets at start. So maybe there will be a stamina bar as well and so on. So I could now add a new function which do the same as we do here. So why not putting a function out for that? So I have a function which only updated the health related widget. Let's do that. Um, add a new function and say update health related. Related means uh, there may be more objects uh, which needs to be updated when the health is changed, has changed. Um, so call it like that. Um, so cut those out and put them in here. So every time I want to update the health widgets or the health related, I only need to call this function. And this function is called at start, of course, within the init widget. So this function is called once at start and now it is called after someone tells me that we should call it. 
and our player character said, hey, I took damage. Update. Oh, not in it widget content, sorry. Update health related. So, the target is ourself, of course, it's our own function. So, update health related. He gets inside the he gets the current health ratio. So after we have taken damage, there's a new health ratio which we get from here. And then we send the message to our widget. <coughs> so let's see. If this fires up ah, in when we want to take some damage, you want to set some damage. Let's say we want to decrease by 5. Okay. So, oh, sorry. When I hit F, as you can see, our health is decreased. Okay. I think that's it this time. Next time we want to do the same with the stamina bar or with a stamina bar we want to create and um, we will discover the meaning of indirect input and direct input. Um, I hope I will see you again this time then and yes and I hope of course that you enjoyed this one as well and I will appreciate any comments or critics you want to give me in order to improve my uh, tutorials um, yeah so see you next time bye